It's time for a little update on my health. So I made it to California. I moved out here. I had some problems getting here with the salt deprivation and hyponatremia and electrolyte balance and all that stuff, but I finally got that under control. And I was convinced to go with a different insurance company than the one I had back in Colorado for a variety of reasons. So um, they sent me to Cedar sinai and I saw an endocrinologist there who looked at my lab work and said, these have to be wrong. There's no way this lab work can be right, because if it was right, you'd be dead. Well, that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> I've been hearing that for six years. So I explained to her that, yeah, the lab work is right. We've redone these tests over and over again, and they keep coming back with the same answers. So she wanted to repeat the test for the fifth time. Okay, fine, whatever. So we scheduled the uh, cortisol stimulation test, also known as the ACTH stimulation test, where they give you ACTH, which is what the pituitary gland would normally produce if you had one, and it prompts the adrenal glands to produce cortisol. Of course, since I don't have a pituitary gland, there is no ACTH, and of course the adrenals don't respond. So when they have given me ACTH in the past to stimulate the adrenals, they want it to get up to at least 18. Mine is like 0 0.3, so, <laughs> and it never gets up past three. So I definitely fail the test in bottom line here. So okay, so we scheduled the test, we get ready to do the test, but in the interim, this new insurance company is not writing the prescriptions I need to stay alive. Because I don't have a pituitary gland, we've got to artificially replace all of the things that the pituitary gland is responsible for making, like cortisol and thyroid hormone and um, growth hormone and antidiuretic hormone, etc. And without those things, you die. <laughs> so they aren't giving me the medicines I need to stay alive. And some of these medicines, I ended up going without for four weeks. <sighs> so as you can imagine, this was taking me really down. I was feeling absolutely horrible. And I finally decided, you know, I can't stay with this new insurance company if they're gonna be like this. If they don't know how to write prescriptions, I need to find a doctor that knows how to write a prescription. So I went back to Kaiser, and I'm glad I did. Um, I got my prescriptions. It took probably about a week and a half to get stabilized after being without some of these very vital things for so long, but I eventually did get stabilized. Okay, fine. So now <laughs> we have to start over with everything. I was scheduled for cataract surgery in Colorado. Then I sold my house, so we had to cancel the surgery. And once I got here with the new insurance company, we scheduled cataract surgery again. Well, because I left that insurance company in order to get my meds, we had to cancel that again. So <laughs> tomorrow morning, I see a new doctor, hopefully to schedule cataract surgery for the third time. And I hope we go through with it this time because I'm to the point right now where I really can't see hardly anything out of my right eye. This is really bad. I haven't been able to drive at night for years. Now I'm to the point where I'm having a real hard time during the day when it's sunny because of the glare. I can't read. I need a, a, a magnifying glass in order to read. And when I have to draw up my syringe for my adrenal insufficiency and my emergency injections, I can't tell where that little line is. And when I'm in adrenal crisis, it's really bad because I'm shaking. So I really have to be able to see. So hopefully we'll get that done. Um, and they're going to send me to another endocrinologist. And I want to say a big thank you to the Pituitary Network. They are a not-for-profit organization that helps people with pituitary issues such as myself find doctors that are trained in this. And Jackie at the Pituitary Network, we've become dear friends, I've talked to her multiple times, she has helped me find a doctor who can deal 
with people who need to take steroids because they don't have a pituitary gland, so they have adrenal insufficiency, also known as Addison's disease, but they're allergic to cortisol, allergic to steroids like hydrocortisone, prednisone, kenalog, dexamethasone, all of these I'm either outright totally allergic to or they cause severe problems like high blood pressure and trouble breathing. So this new doctor should be able to work with me. He has told Jackie that he would work with me and that we can find something that will help keep me alive that isn't poison. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much for all of your help and for contributing to my GoFundMe. Um, you're keeping me alive, really. And I wouldn't be here in California and have the opportunities that I have to find better medical care if it weren't for your contribution. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.